Well folks, welcome along to another video from Gun Dog and Fly. What a beautiful morning. It's the 7th of April and it's approximately half nine in the morning. And this is the river shore. I'm up quite high on the river shore here. Hoping to get a bit of fishing because I haven't fished the river shore at all yet. And it's still very high. We've had unprecedented rain. Uh, apparently March 2023 was the wettest on record. So it's no surprise, but it's never been this late for me to fish the shore. It's just unbelievable that <clears throat> the levels of rain and the, the, the level of the water has been consistently high since the start of the season. The season's a month old now and I haven't fished my beloved shore. So today I'm going to give it a go, even though it's still too high. I'm going to go to places where it might be a little bit wider and the level might be just fishable. It'll be a struggle, but um, stay with me and we'll see how it goes. Right, here it goes. First time fishing the shore this year. Um, there's just a slight downstream breeze, uh, nothing too heavy or strong, so there'll be no real issues casting. So what I've done is I've set up my nine foot three weight with just two small wet flies, two size 14 wet flies, and I'm gonna fish down through this little <coughs> narrower part and then into that wider flat, where I'll be hoping maybe it'll be that bit, um, just more conducive to good fishing down around there where that flat is, and maybe we might meet a couple of trout. And just, uh, I'd like to give a shout out to a friend of mine, Connor, up west, as they say, and I wanna dedicate these first few casts on the river shore this year to Connor and wish him all the best. <sighs> yeah, the flies are traveling nicely there, so <clears throat> maybe if the fish are in the mood, they may get a result. So it's just a simple down and across method. Those of you who've been watching my videos will know that I've had a few trout on some of the smaller rivers, but um, there's nothing like catching a trout on, on my what I deem my own river, if you like, the shore. So here's hoping. That breeze downstream is cold, so that's not good. Sort of a northerly airflow, which is never conducive to good fishing. So, no waffers as yet. Trout were in the feeding mood, I would have expected to meet him. Oh, I just pulled it out of his mouth there. So that's my first offer. Just as I lifted the line. Oh, missed him again. <laughs> he came the second time. That's unusual enough. Generally, if they miss the first time, they won't come a second time. So it's highly unlikely that he'll come the third time. But we'll put it across him anyway. Yeah, <clears throat> at least it's an offer, hopeful sign. 
Now I made my way around those trees and back in here again. Difficult enough to negotiate this place is like a swamp. Hopeful of a, a take along here. It's um, just a bit wider and that little bit slower. Oh yes, first fish on the shore this season. Strong as well, of course in the high water. Yeah. Took the point fly. And he's in relatively good condition given that the winter is just over. Hey fella. Not a big fish by any measure, but the first from the shore is always welcome. All right, fella. See you later in the summer, hopefully, when you'll be a half a pound heavier, maybe. Right. Uh, yes, another fish. <laughs> Small fish, but he got off. And no big difference. So what I've learned from that coming down along there, something I've known a long, long time when river is high, seek out the wider parts of the river because you'll have a relatively slower flow. And of course that's where the fish will gravitate towards. So when I got to the widest part, I got the responses. Now, being that I, kn I now know that for sure, I'm going to head to just another part of the river, just a little bit further away. Um, 
and I'll be back to you as soon as I get there. Right, I've fished down approximately 250, 300 yards of water without a single offer. And that probably means that fish are just not active for whatever reason. Um, I would have expected to meet fish down along, but unfortunately not. But I'm going to persevere anyway because I can think of nothing better to be doing than, than this. People are paying thousands for therapy for what I'm getting here this morning for for literally nothing. I think I figured out why I'm not having a lot of success. Um, that breeze, there's an east, easterly flow in the breeze and in my experience an east wind isn't good for man nor beast. Um, it just kills fishing. Fish just don't be active when there's an easterly airflow. So I think that's the reason why um, I'm not catching any fish basically. I would have expected to have caught quite a number of fish by now had conditions been different. But Shinemara Hall. So um I fished for approximately an hour and a half thereabouts and only had two or three small fish and a couple of offers. Um, the east wind is just killing us basically. So um, I'm heading back up now to where I started out, where I got a couple of responses and I'm just going to fish that for another few minutes and then I'm heading on home. So not every fishing trip um, turns out as you'd like. That's I suppose why it's called fishing and not catching. Huh? Um, the conditions are just not conducive to good fishing. That's the size of it. And uh, I'll fish this once more and uh, you can see how I get on and then I'll knock it on the head for today. Right. Approximately a hundred yards of water, so that I fished about an hour and a half ago. I'm gonna fish it again. It's the only place I got any little bit of activity really. Not for the faint-hearted here, it's uh, got all this stuff, it's really, really, it grips onto you and it tries to hold you back and you could sink into it at any time. Ooh, so I have to try and fish and take care that I don't sink to my waist and this stuff has happened to me one time. Oh yes. Ah, oh, he got off and he looked like a nice fish. He felt strong anyway. Shin Shin, the is great. That's it. Um, it's my first outing on the shore this season. Met a few fish, caught a couple of small fish, 
lost that fish just there. He he was a nice fish, I, I, I suspect, but um, there'll be better days. So be sure to um, tune in for the next video. I'll most likely be on the shore again when it's maybe in better condition. And uh, like I said earlier, it's called fishing, not catching. Can't always catch a heap of fish. So Shinawela Wumsa Dan Trasha. I'll be talking to you again next time. Idrangalin. Slaugafoil.